Now cleanup underway in Lee's Summit after that tornado touched down, damaging everything yeah. in its path. Yeah, so many people with stories to tell. Reporter Sarah Hollenbeck spoke with an expert from the National Weather Service who was out surveying the damage today. And Sarah, he's telling us it's a miracle this tornado was only on the ground one minute. That's right, and most of that minute was spent destroying this strip mall that you see behind us. Let me step out so you can show you the work being done right now. You see some gentlemen on the roof. They are throwing down tiles that were on that roof. Those came down. They really just spread out all over this parking lot, caused a lot of damage. But you're right, it only touched down for less than a minute, and it narrowly dodged homes less than a mile from here. The EF1 tornado packed a punch, though. It had winds up to 100 miles per hour and the National Weather Service says based on their assessment the tornado's path stretched about a quarter mile wide was about 100 miles in length or 100 yards in length it touched down for just one minute's time which was enough to severely damage more than a dozen businesses but something we've heard time and time again today it could have been so much worse off to our southeast you know, we have that uh, fireworks stand that got blown down and then the high school. But you get on the other side of the high school, it's all residential in there. Unfortunately, the tornado had, had dissipated before right there by the high school. And then, the, you know, there's tree damage and, and minor shingle damage in the residence, but it could have been a whole heck of a lot worse. The National Weather Service says no doubt this could have been deadly if that tornado would have touched down for a longer period of time. But that one minute, luckily, not enough to harm anyone here. But coming up at 5 o'clock, we talked to one restaurant that literally left food all over their ovens on because they left in such a hurry to try and dodge this storm. Reporting live in Lee's Summit, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck for the Now Kansas City. Wow, Sarah, thanks for that. Now the